Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for following along in this series. All the comments, the watches, the encouragement, uh, much appreciated. Uh, seems like people are interested and so we will keep moving on this. So uh, this is uh, episode five, I believe. Yeah, I can still count on this on one hand. I shouldn't be losing track. Uh, but at this point, we have Firebase worked in. We have a good start to our application. We're about to dive into the login and the sign-up process. And it seemed like a good time to step back and think about the steps that we're going to take to complete that process, which you always think is kind of a, a throwaway, right? You think about your app, the login, the sign-up just seems like this thing that you really don't have to think about. But it's kind of a convoluted process when you really consider it because when people come in, first of all, they could be logging in, they could be signing up. Uh, you are authenticating them and they might be creating a, an account with their email, their password, or their telephone number, password, whatever. Uh, they might also be authenticating through a third-party service such as Facebook or Google. And once you get through that process, you then have to run and check and make sure that they have a record in your database for that user. So it's kind of a two-step process with a bunch of different paths that you could take. So I created a, a UML diagram for this process. I am not an authority on UML diagrams. I have always been guilty of just diving in and figuring it out in code and I'm trying to get better at it. There may be some mistakes in this but let's take a look at it anyway. So uh, we've got our actor on the left and they may go to sign in, log in. That's their choice and we've already built those pages, right? If they're in log in and they think they should be in sign up or if they're in sign up and they think they should be in log in, we're trusting them to make that initial decision. We're going to check them on it later uh, but they can go to either one. Now, when you see an arrow that says extend, that's a case that might happen. So for instance, on the sign up, we've got create Firebase account with email. If they're signing up, they might want to enter their email, enter their password and create an account with Firebase. They might just want to click sign up with Google, sign up with Facebook and use an existing authenticated account. They will have to follow through on authentication. So that's why we have include coming out of sign up and login. Both of those have to lead to authentication. Off of authentication, we might get a couple of errors. We might get the account exist error. That would happen only if they are signing up and if they are trying to create a Firebase account. If it's already there, we might get an error. They might, if they try to authenticate through Google or Facebook, they might not have a Google or Facebook account or there may be some problem with it and we might get an authentication error uh, from that process. So we see there's an error case with an extend, so that might happen. They will need to follow through to account verification with Firestore. So we're going to have users in our Firestore database uh, to make sure that they have an account with us once they're authenticated and they might not have an account. If they are coming through the sign-up process, then we are going to extend to create Firestore account. So that might happen if they're signing up and they don't, they've authenticated and they don't have an account, we're going to create one for them. If they get there through the login process, at that point we want a no account error. We want to feed that information back to the login screen. Hey, you don't have an account, you want to be in sign up and we'll give them the option to, to move at that point. So there are a number of different paths here that you can take through this process. This attempts to map them all out. We're going to need to have our sign up page, our login page, which we already have. We're going to need to display the errors that they might get throughout the process. We're going to need to give them the option of creating a Firebase account with email. Uh, off of that use case. We're going to want to have Google and uh, Facebook options and sign up and uh, log in. And so these are all the things that we need to accomplish before we can exit this system to the right, go into our application. So in our next episode, we're going to build out our sign in and our login process, making sure that we have all these cases accounted for. Stay tuned.